What is going on guys? Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back at you today and we do have a video today. 2.1 pounds of Star Wars only. Incredibly hard to find nowadays if you don't want to pay your entire bank account worth of money. Uh, this was, there are some other like, little, I think there's like planets in here or something like that. I totally forgot about this all. It was just kind of sitting on the side. Uh, well, there's a lot of things that are sitting on the side. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we'll dig, we'll dive into this one, see what I get. Uh, I think I bought this one sometime in June. It is now sometime in July that I'm <laughs> filming this. Uh, so it's been about a month. It's been about a month. There's been older packages. A month is pretty good for me. Uh, all right. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. We love our bubble wrap. I'm going to have to cut this one, too. Looks like. Yep. Stores I about... Wow, that was a good start. Stores.ebay.com slash legbros, where you can find all this stuff. We are on Whatnot as well. We're doing quite a bit over there uh, on Whatnot, so that's been really fun. Let's go ahead and pour this thing out and see what we got. Pour this out and see what the cat dragged in. 2.1 pounds, paid 500 bucks. So hopefully, uh, you know, Star Wars is just expensive nowadays. That's just how it is. Gotta learn to love it. Don't love it, but... You know, learn to accept it, I guess. Uh, this doesn't look like it has any... It doesn't feel like it has any parts in it. But we do have three planets right here. Uh, I have no idea which ones they are. No idea. Maybe Camino. Uh, maybe Dagobah. And, uh... Yep, no idea. <laughs> no idea. But three planets. That's pretty cool. Three planets. We do have some poly bags in here as well, which is kind of neat. Uh, there is 30381 Imperial TIE Fighter from Solo. Some foil bags. I think these are only in... Over... Like, I don't even think these are in the U.S., are they? I mean, I don't know. I don't think they sell these in the U.S., do they? I haven't seen them before. Uh, anyways, we got Kylo Ren Shuttle. We got an X-Wing. We got First Order Snowspeeder and an Imperial Shuttle. Little mini poly bag builds. That's kind of neat. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's dive in here. Let's see what we got for our five hundred dollars. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Doesn't seem like a lot for five hundred bucks. But you know, that's the that's the modern day Star Wars for you. It's just everything costs so much money. Well, with that, we're starting out with the first little ting here, and our second ting is shortly thereafter. Does not have any power, so we'll replace the battery. But it looks like the cape has some fuzz balls on it but other than that is in great condition his head is in great condition so we'll just replace the batteries on that fig and he should be good to go fantastic ting right there that's a good way to start uh speaking of tings we have ezra bridger hopefully does not have a cracked torso which he does not that's 20 dollars after i put his helmet on uh man this this little right hand corner is doing pretty well phase two gunner also a ting right there uh this one whoa goes this way buddy he's a new recruit we're, we're working on it uh <laughs> this one is one of the newer 501st troopers. Haven't quite hit their value stride yet because they are still on the market. Uh, we do have Death Star Vader here as well. Sith Trooper. We have the green astromech, which is the best because it's green, obviously. Uh, here is a Republic Shock Trooper. That's a fantastic fig as well. Any Shock Trooper is good. Um, that one is a Battle Pack fig, but only came in uh, one per versus the Episode 3 Shock Troopers came in two per. I'm going to move this down a little bit, give myself a little bit more room for these tings, shall we? A little more room. A little more room for these ting. Ooh, do you like that? Sorry for those motion sick people. <laughs> Is that good? Uh, phase one clone. Not too spectacular there. White Chewy, also not super spectacular. Another 501st. Uh, this one could be good. I have no idea though. Um, it's. I don't think it's a conveyx. Yeah, I don't know. That's a research one. I don't know what that one is. Uh, I believe this is Kira, if I'm not mistaken. Research that one as well. Comment below if you know what any of these are. Uh, ooh, there's my favorite commando because he has the Star Killer head, and I always need one of those in good condition because uh, every one I find is in terrible condition. So good to find this guy. I'm going to convert that to a regular rebel, and we will keep the Star Killer face for a Star Killer. All these astromechs are super cool. Uh, my astromech that I made um, in Disney World has a clear head too. Uh, but this one is pretty cool. Not super valuable, I don't think, but it does have a clear head. Uh, speaking of valuable, we do have a Super Mandalorian with the Pre-Vizsla -Pre head. Actually, that's right, that's not the Pre-Vizsla head. That's the other head. Has the solid stud 
uh, and that's how you tell between the, <laughs> it's really hard to tell between the regular Mandalorian and the Super Mandalorian when they're not the pre Vizsla head, but that's how you tell. Solid stud versus not solid stud. All the regular Mandos have the not solid stud. Uh, that could be a good one if there is an episode, or sorry, if there is a phase two clone helmet in here um, with the printed legs. Could just be a standard clone though. We don't really know enough information about that one. Just a standard Stormtrooper right there, nothing special. We got Akbar from the Lego movie. You didn't know he was in there? He was. He was in there. You guys didn't know that? I'm surprised you didn't know that. There's that guy's helmet. Now he is complete. Ooh, a white cape. I'll use that for something other than this guy, but look at this guy. He looks like some kind of action hero. Jeez. Just ready to rock. Uh, there's the metal Darth Vader, which is kind of cool, the celebration metal. You would think that guy is way more valuable than he actually is. He always surprises me in terms of the value, um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. He's got the Yavin metal, which is kind of interesting. It's like a uh, an offshoot spinoff there. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what those guys' names were. Um, we also do have the other Mandalorian. I'm guessing this is Pre Vizsla. Uh, yeah, the highbrow version of him, which is a little bit more expensive than the other one. Um, but I usually sell those as a pair, so that's nice. Uh, we do have an Ugnaught, missing one hand, it looks like. <laughs> These guys are always cracked, too. Let's see if he... No, these all look like they're in great condition, so that's cool. Uh, Sith Trooper there as well. We got a tire, if you guys were looking for that. Add some weight on there. Ahsoka Tana, unfortunately, her, her least valuable form. Uh, Scout Trooper, my favorite version with the goggles right there, the yellow head version. Just so good. Classic, classic. One of the classics that ends up being just better than... I like the I like the new version of the Clone Troopers as well. That looks like a Poe Dameron helmet. I don't know what it goes to, though, so... Uh, definitely not Lego, that's for sure. We got Chewbacca, and hello! I'll take that one all day long. Captain Rex in the house. We're doing all right. We're doing all right, boys. Uh, Cathalba. There is a surprise. That's a Lone Ranger. <laughs> you didn't know he was in Star Wars? Yeah, he was. Uh, Republic Trooper, we got C-3PO times four, different versions there. Uh, Return of the Jedi, Luke, not bad, not bad, not Super Ting, not bad though. Sand Trooper, Utapau, of course we know just what to do with Utapau, he goes right down there in the bottom. Old 501st, these guys have dropped in value, I'm going to bring them out of the Ting pile, to be honest. Um, I have trouble selling them uh, after the new ones came out, so uh, we're going to keep him up here. He is cool still. They sell every once in a while, but I'm going to take him out of the ting pile, unfortunately. Uh, this guy's chewed to heck on his legs, but the rest of him looks okay. That's a Special Forces Trooper. Don't remember what the value of them is. Probably mid-value. I don't think he's quite a ting anymore. Uh, we do have our... Uh, I figured we'd find this guy since we found these guys. Uh, we do have our um, Darth Maul. Wow, I could not figure his name for a second there. Uh, he does have the hips, which are the hardest part to find. I have a gazillion legs, so even if we don't find the legs in here... Uh, we will be able to complete him in no time because I just need hips all the time. Can't find the hips. The hips are as, as expensive on Bricklink as the figure. Figure that out. Yep. Pun intended. Scarif. Shore Trooper on a Phase 1 clone. Uh, we do have a Shadow Guard, which is... Uh, those guys Those guys are pretty, pretty dope looking, I gotta be honest. Uh, there's Han Solo in Carbonite. Two Shock Troopers. These are the gray forms instead of the black. A little bit newer. Uh, wrong face there, but we do have Lando in disguise. Another shock, uh, another uh, scout trooper. These guys are in great condition. It's really, always really good. It's, it's always a risk. Um, but uh, you know what? These guys are in great condition. There's another shock trooper, or sorry, shore trooper. Scarif shore trooper. Uh, nothing much there. There's Han Solo. Does not have the visor pattern from Hoth. We have Finn. Uh, Chewbacca again. Another first order. Wrong helmet. That is a hover tank helmet on a uh, sand trooper. Interesting turnabout there. There used to be, <laughs> there lies what used to be a chrome saber, and you can see it is not so chrome anymore. Not so chrome. Han Solo, another clone trooper. Of course, he has a zillion clone troopers. Uh, that is not supposed to be his jetpack, but it is kind of cool. I appreciate the mix-up there. <laughs> One of the new Mandalorians uh, with the 501st battle pack there. There's a jet trooper. Those go pretty well. I do sell those pretty easily. Uh, another 501st. There's a Leia from Endor. We do have Kanan Jarrus. That's a good one. Does not have black hair, unfortunately, or black eyebrows, I should say. Uh, oh. Oh, he's got little feet. <laughs> he's got little feet. Oh, he's got little feet. I don't know what that came from, but my daughter 
Holy Toledo. It's not Lego, but my daughter is going to go ape over that one. <laughs> she just finished watching The Mandalorian. You can imagine she is, uh, she enjoyed it. <laughs> Django Fett, Django Fett helmet. That's awesome. I don't know if Django Fett's in here, but if he's not, I have plenty of Django Fett's to fill that out. Uh, we do have a astromech right here. I'm just going to guess this is the 20th anniversary because if this was a regular, <laughs> if this was the regular one, I would go bananas. Uh, but yes, we see the 20th anniversary. Uh, still a good fig though. Still a solid fig. All those 20th anniversary ones. I didn't think they were going to do well, but shame on me. Shame on me. I didn't buy a ton of those sets. I should have. Uh, there's Ray and oh, ooh. Oh, he's angry about being so messed up. Look at those legs. Hand up. I bet they're fake too. Yeah, they feel fake. They are fake. They feel like a fake. They quack like a duck. Uh, there's Dirty Not R2, which is kind of interesting. There is a, I think this actually does go on an R2 body, to be honest, that headpiece. Uh, there's um, Obi-Wan's astromech there as well. Another one of the Jet Troopers. We do have Luke, Final Battle Luke. I was hoping that was Endor Luke, but it is Final Battle Luke, which is still cool. Uh, Finn. Utapau Troop, we know what to do with him. That is the Airborne, but he is... Well, it's actually the wrong helmet, to be honest, as well, too. I don't know if we can get that head out of there. Head might be stuck, because that thing is smooshed. <laughs> I think we're just going to go ahead and put that in the smooshed pile. I don't think this head... Judging from the helmet, the head's probably messed up, too, but... Oh! Made progress. Made progress. I don't know if the head... The neck is a little bit worn off. I don't want to wear down the neck thing either. So we're just gonna keep that down there and put that in the bag of damaged things. If somebody wants a battle damaged Utapau troop, there you go. Sand Trooper, not bad. Look at that Christmas Darth Maul. Is he cracked? No, he's all right. Christmas Darth Maul, not a super tang, but he's cool. We're gonna put him down there just, just for the cool factor. Cause I mean, come on, it's Darth Maul is Santa Claus. Let's be honest. Tatooine Luke, uh, there's Remus Loop in his face. Uh, episode 3, Clone Trooper Helmet, we got Ewok, Ewok times 2. Chirut Ermway with the little skirt thing. That's a pretty good fig right there. Uh, that is not supposed to be green, but, you know, to each their own. Somebody's making a Kashyyyk droid before they made them. Now they do have them, so you don't have to actually paint them green, which is nice. Old school Chewbacca there. We do have a Sand Trooper. Uh, these guys with the bigger emblem on them tend to be a little bit more valuable. This is one of the newer Rogue One versions of them too, which is actually kind of cool. We'll put that guy down there. Uh, that is an ATDP driver, something like that. Uh, another Luke. I don't know why he has a, he's got like the Dagobah backpack on him. I don't know why. Uh, another version of R2. We do have a Death Trooper. Of course, those are all Tings as well. Both versions of Death Troopers are pretty good. Obviously the one from, um, Krennic Shuttle is better. Another Chirrut. He does not have all of his stuff, but I guess we put the other one down there, so we might as well put this one down there, too. Uh, Nuke Gunray, nothing much there. Pilot, nothing much there. Hello. Hello. Oh, I was I was hoping... I always get confused on that one. This is the 9494 version. Uh, we have to put different legs on him, obviously, but he's still worth about 20 bucks uh, plus, so that's pretty cool. The Sith version of Anakin. Not the Palpatine's Arrest version, unfortunately, but the one you find a little bit more often. Speaking of Krennic, I think that's Krennic's, okay, yeah, that's Krennic's torso, and this is one of the Death Troopers. Speaking of Death Troopers, not speaking of Krennic. <laughs> speaking of Death Troopers, there we go. Uh, that is not Krennic at all, but that is the Krennic torso. So hopefully his cape is in here, and we can go ahead, go ahead and make that guy. We're going to put him down here just for hopefully we can make him later on. Uh, Yoda. There's a good, nice little ting there. Clone Lieutenant. Hopefully we find his body in here as well. Uh, we have BB-8. There is Leia, one of the newer versions of Leia. Uh, that is a Harry Potter fig. He's got an umbrella, though, so, I mean, he gets invited. Apparently this guy, look at this guy. He's hanging on. One handlebar off, but he is still hanging on. Speeder bike is one of my favorite scenes and sets of all time. Uh, Clone Trooper Pilot, that could probably go down here as well. Those pilots are pretty good. Here's the ADDP helmet. I think it's an ADDP, right? Comment below if I'm wrong. Uh, wow. I mean, that guy, that guy makes the lot complete, right? Here we go. I think, wait, wait, nope. That's not them. Is that them? That's a battle pack guy, right? I don't remember if that's the, 
the Death Trooper. Pretty sure that's, isn't that like Inferno Squad or something like that? Now I'm confusing myself. All right, now I'm confusing myself. Here's the other Death Trooper, the normal looking Death Trooper from the Battle Pack. That is not the Krennic version of the Death Trooper. Oh, 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 Krennic Cape. We have found a Krennic Cape. That is important. I have the rest of Krennic if needed. Uh, I do have Han Solo from as a clone. You guys didn't see that coming, did you? Um, I don't know if we had, we could have had Krennic's face in one of these guys already. I'm going to put a placeholder head on him for right now, I think. Uh, there's a low, or a Lobot with the Boba Fett or Django Fett head. Let's see if I can find his head. Another Boba Fett, put him down here. Nope. Utapau, know what to do with that one. Put it down there. BBA times two. There's the advent calendar droid. Too bad it's not the uh, super chromed up one. Uh, there's a Rogue One Stormtrooper. Always a good sell right there. There's something that goes to the planet here. Uh, here's an Ewok with a regular size body, which is interesting. What's the what's the body, you think? I'll put that down. It's gotta be a town, something city. Yep, yep, something city. Something city. There's Moroth with his uh, custom blaster, it looks like, interesting. From his little tiny scene that he had the side of, which they made a figure of, which is, that just always baffles me. Shadow Trooper, we got another Endor Commando. Uh, another Return of the Jedi, Luke. Republic Trooper. Ooh, look at that guy. He's even better because he's got a helmet. He's better. Way more superior because he's got a helmet. Uh, Jawa. Here's this guy's helmet. No capes for them, unfortunately. Uh, R2, Commando Droid. Here is Hux with helmet. That's a pretty good one. Another one of the Rogue One figs right there. Is that Venom? Yep. Venom Sith Trooper. You guys didn't know about that one either, did you? Finding all sorts of new stuff out here. Uh, R2s and the um, Death Star Astromech. Another clone. We got... Oh, there's our hover tank pilot right there. And, and he's got the other helmet, so complete switch there. Uh, Christmas Yoda. That one's pretty good, too. Uh, there's a white jetpack that used to be on something. That looks like white Boba Fett, but we didn't have white Boba Fett in here. Nothing there. Han Solo, nothing. Well, I say nothing, but they're still good figs. Believe me, I know. Uh, these guys are actually pretty good, too. I sell all those really, really easily. Um, a lot of people make mocks of things that they need a lot of those Imperial uh, commanders and things like that. Tings like that. Uh, that one is... Yikes. Yikes. Uh, we didn't finish Krennic, but we might be able to. I didn't see his hair piece in here, but I have another one in here for sure. And its cape wasn't super great. Oh, he does have black legs? Oh. Well, shame on me. Shame on me. I'm going to keep that guy together. That cape is not fantastic, but this one is in great condition. So, we didn't see K2SO in here, or the Death Troopers, which is a little bit sad. Uh, we did find one of their capes, though. And Krennic is a good, solid ting as well. I think this lot was just fine, what you would expect for Star Wars. Obviously, the, a little bit of the weight came from, like, the planets. These actually aren't that heavy. Uh, but the poly bags as well added uh, quite a bit of weight there as well. So, not super, super score, but it is Star Wars, and it will sell very well. And uh, it's always worth, always worth getting Star Wars, right? <laughs> it's always worth getting Star Wars. Anyways, love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.